Hey guys, Colleen here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the most important tools and supplies that I would take with me on a house call. Now, I don't typically do house calls, but this was a special circumstance where a friend had an old 50s jukebox that used a tube amp. And the tube amps in those are really similar to guitar amps of that era, using 6L6 tubes and whatnot. So we packed up, went over there, and got it working for him. Before I get into it, I wanted to let you guys know that June 7th through 9th in Brooklyn, New York, myself, along with my friends Pat Kaufman and John Reed, are going to be teaching a three-day workshop where each student builds their own 5 e 3 Deluxe kit. This is a pretty full circle moment for me because I built my first amp um, at the Chicago School of Guitar Making's 5 e 3 Deluxe kit class. So that was about 10 years or so ago. We had a great time here in LA when we did our intro to tube amps class. Spots are filling up pretty quickly, so I'll put all the info in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. All right, so now let's see what's in my box. Um, I got this RCA tube box a few years ago at the Costa Mesa Vintage Guitar Show. I've always wanted one of these. Um, they were used a lot by TV repair people. They would, you know, fill these with tubes and tools and other common supplies when they were, would do house calls to fix people's TVs back when TVs were serviceable and that was a profession. So in this compartment here, I have a soldering iron and I have my RCA receiving tube manual book. This is a really awesome book to have on hand because it's just full of tube data. So if you're in the field and you're working with a tube and you're not familiar with the pinout or whatever, um, you can refer to this book. And then of course I have my solder. I have my signal generator. This basically puts a signal through the amp um, you can adjust the level of the sine wave and the frequency. So this is a really nice portable um, and useful tool to have, and I do use it a lot with amp repair. Of course, my multimeter. This is a Fluke 114. Um, my mentor gifted this to me when I first started, and I've been using it for years and years ever since. I have some alligator clips. This is a probe for my oscilloscope. My trusted solder sucker. And then just a few basic hand tools. Um, some screwdrivers, some pliers, and my wire cutters. And then in here I have um, a bunch of tubes. I have like 6L6s, um, 5Y3s, 12AX7s, all that. And there's some in here as well. I have some deoxit. Um, I typically use the D5, but I just kind of keep this one in, in here. So those are some of the more important tools that I use and would bring on a house call. So the last thing that I want to touch upon that I brought with me was my scope. This is a Beckman Model 9202. I've had this scope for a really long time and it's never failed me. Um, it was important to bring in this case because I wanted to trace the signal through the amp just to make sure that everything is working. I use this scope pretty much every day for my regular testing procedures and diagnostics. So it's a really important tool. Um, so I hope you guys liked this quick little intro to the tools and supplies that are most important to me. Um, again, check out the description for info on our 5E3 Deluxe Build class. And I'll end the video with a quick word from our sponsor. You know, Hank, I've got all these demos that I recorded years ago that I would love to upload, to share and stream. I recorded these tracks years and years ago with my really good friend on his tape machine. And it would just be fun to have those all accessible. So I decided why not try out DistroKid. As we know, DistroKid is a service that helps musicians upload their music to all major streaming platforms. The app is so user-friendly. You can upload album art straight from your phone and it's really easy to input all of the track information. And then you just upload the track 
and boom, you're done. Viewers of my channel get 30% off at the link I will post below. It's distrokid.com slash VIP slash Fazio. So go check it out. Get those dusty old demos or your fresh sparkly new tracks. Whatever it may be, get it uploaded.